We're live. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. It is day five. It still feels like Thursday because it was Easter bank holiday. Uh, but it is Friday, and I've got that Friday feeling, whatever that Friday feeling is. Um, that's a funny thing. I've just, I just had a flashback. Who remembers being at school and having that Friday feeling of uh, the weekend, or that Friday feeling of um, it's the school holidays? Oh, but who remembers the dread of the feeling of the Sunday night of going back to school? Oh, dear. Now, when I became a teacher, I ended up having that feeling. And that's when I knew that, for me, I needed to get out of the education system. But that's just me. But one thing that I would encourage everyone to really do is to pay attention to your thoughts, you know, your feelings. And this is one of the things we're going to be looking at today. Um, I need to... We've had such a massive influx of, um, oops, that screen's gone a bit big. Hang on one second. Let's go back. Um, we've had a massive influx. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Alicia. I just saw your message. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, every single one of you. I'm going to get into some content. I mean, there's so many of you here. My screen has still gone really big for some reason. There you go. It's back. Um, please feel free to share this. I believe that the more people hear this information, um, the more people's lives will, will be changed. So I appreciate when you guys just literally click a button. You're just clicking a button to share it, for it to go on your timeline that someone else could see it and watch this and this information changes their life. That would be pretty awesome. Well, you know what? This already happened to countless people who have just found what we do by accident. And the challenge that you have if you found this by accident, or even if you're watching this now, the challenge that you have right now is just to just be distracted. In fact, Probably most of you, I don't probably have that many of your real attention. Many of you are probably a bit distracted, right? You're probably um, kind of listening, but you're you kind of doing something else. And I would encourage you, if, if it's possible, you maybe have got kids, you maybe have got other things going on right now, so it's hard for you to really focus on something. But if you're watching this uh, later on, see if you can just focus on it to the exclusion of everything else. For, for you to get the best out of this whole experience, I would be saying to you, um, you need a pen and paper in hand because the information that I'm going to give you, and, and, I, and I will continue to give, if you apply this information, it's going to massively change your life. So right now, let's share. Share with everyone what is it that is important to you right now in your life. Do you want to be slimmer, fitter, healthier? Do you want to have more energy? Do you want to be financially free? Do you want to be more confident? What is it that is important to you? What is it that you want to achieve? Because with it, within every single one of us, we have this desire to, to achieve things. We, we do. We are all. The only reason we learn to walk and talk is because we want something. You know, we want. It's interesting, you know, the first couple of words we learn in life are no and mine. We learn to be selfish in many cases. But when we learn to want more and often want to help people, the sky is the limit. And I ask every single one of you, thank you, Becky. Thank you, all of you making beautiful comments. So I'm asking you to to really think about what is it that's important to me and write it down. People say, well, I wrote it down yesterday. So what? When you study success, for a lot of people, success looks a bit boring. When you go behind the surface of what people have done to be successful, and this is one of the things I'm always doing. If I meet someone and they've achieved something, I want to know how. I want to know what they did. And when you look at people who have achieved anything, in many cases, it would be boring to most people today because everyone wants everything right now. But success, often they say an overnight success takes how long? 10 years. 10 years, that's pretty good. That's about 10,000 hours at least of practice. Practicing mastery. And that is what this week has been all about. It's been about mastery. And mastery today, I, like I say, it's kind of frowned upon. And that's one of the things that we were talking about. How many of you, just like me in your life, you've decided to do something? You've decided to buy a book. You want to, you want to, that's probably the best example. Let's say you want to uh, lose, oh, you, you, you want to learn about what to eat. So you're not going to buy this book. So you that either become with this book, you become a, what's called obsessive, and you read everything, and you don't really take any information because you're just obsessed by it, or you hack at it. You just hack at little bits of it, or you become, what's the other one? Who remembers? Someone who's a hacker, someone who's obsessive. What else? Who can remember? Because one of the things I ask every single one of you to do today, this is a Friday. We've done five days of work together, working together. This is work. Mastery is work. 
So with whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life, think to yourself, do I, what do I need to master? What do I need to work on? Now, for many of you, for many of you, thank you. Yes, you got it. It's a dabbler. Just dabbling around. Yeah. I read the book. Yeah. Nothing happened, though. Rather than deciding, this is what I want. This is what my life is about and going to work. So my 365 is an opportunity for you to show up every day, Monday to Friday. Even if I was just standing here going, blah, 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 not talking, making any sense at all. But it was a discipline for you to show up at a certain time, if you can't watch it at this time, whenever you can watch it, to make sure you are dialed in, dialed in to your rituals. Because mastery, when you look at it, it's what did someone do each and every single day. Now, for most of us, we want a quick win. And this is the most important thing I wanted to say. You can go back and watch all of the videos. If you've got a spare hour, you could look at all of the videos we've done this week if you want to. Just because you hear something once, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you get it. Because there's a couple of real key things that I wanted to mention to you today about mastery. And, and it's so simple that you probably won't do it or you won't apply it. And it's this. Do what you say you are going to do. Do what you say you are going to do. Because so many of us right now, we're thinking, well, I would if I felt like it. So for many of us, our feelings drive our actions, and our actions drive our identity. So who we are, who we are is based on how we're feeling. Please write this down. Think about it. What has feeling like got to do with it? Do you think someone like Roger Federer or maybe, I don't know, Mother Teresa or Mahatma Gandhi woke up one day and said, you know what, I just don't feel like it. You see, it's the other way around for them. They know their identity. They know what's important to them. And that's why, what do you want? Do you want to be slimmer, fitter, healthier? Do you want to be happier? What is it that you want? You see, if you attach your identity to that and say, that's important to me. This is really important to me. I want this. Now, the reason you maybe haven't done it in the past is because you lack confidence. Maybe it wasn't your time. But confidence is simple. It's all the times in your life when you, the reason you're not confident is the amount of times you said you were going to do something and didn't do it. That has drained your confidence. So when you go, you're going to do something, your brain goes, don't do that. Forget it. Your duck in your head goes, there's no point doing that. You're only going to fail. You might as well just stay where you are because that's comfortable. Do you want to be like everybody else? Do you want to be like all the sheep that are just going? See, my 365 is a flock of sheep, if you like, that are going, I don't want to be a sheep. I want to move away from this, and I want to create something better for myself with other people. And we have so many people here who will support you on this journey, this important journey that you are on. You have this opportunity. You have it. It's here. Many of you, you'll just let it go. It's okay. You'll just let it go because... You'll go on to some form of other distraction. Rather than realizing, you know and I know there is a part of you that wants more. There is a seed that is wanting to just grow. I believe we were all planted when we, when we were born with seeds that wanted to make things happen. The challenge is, if you want something, it's going to take a little bit of mastery. It's going to take a bit of, this is what I want. This is why I want it. And thinking about that. So your identity is attached to what you want so that your identity dictates your actions and your actions dictate your feelings. So you get the feelings after you've taken action. What has feeling like got to do with it? Do you think this morning I felt like getting up at four o'clock in the morning? But my identity is attached to being the best coach I can possibly be i got to get up at four. I've got to go to work. Do you think I felt like doing yoga for 20 minutes? Do you think I felt like doing meditating for 20 minutes? No, because it's a part of my brain that just goes, just stay where we are because it's comfortable. But my identity, my, who I want to be, drives me through sometimes the uncomfortableness of not wanting to do something. Does this make sense? If you want to be a victim, thank you, Becky. A victim is someone who complains. If you want to be a hero in your life, it's time to show up. So I'm asking all of you, because there's a lot of new people. We've nearly got 4,000 people in the My365 community, 4,000. And I'm asking, how many of you have actually watched this? It's okay. You don't have to watch it. But show up and share. If you don't want to make a video about, because this is what I ask everyone today. I'm your coach. If, you, if I was coaching you personally, it would cost you thousands of pounds. 
thousands of pounds if I was going to coach you personally. But that's just how I operate. That's how I built who I am today. That's how I built the life that I have. But you, you don't have to pay for this, but you have to pay something for it by showing up and deciding that you want more than you have today. So one of the things I ask everyone to do, thank you, Stephen Hughes-Landers. Thank you to Stefan. Uh, people who are amazing human beings. Listen to the podcast I've done with both of them. By the way, if you've got an iPhone, go to um, download, or if you've got iTunes or the podcast app, download, search for My365. Uh, we've done, we've done I don't know, nearly, I don't know how many, uh, Casey, maybe 80, 80 podcasts interviewing people, sharing their story. We have an opportunity to help you create an amazing story, an amazing life. This is why people love watching things like EastEnders. They love watching things like movies, Harry Potter, Rocky, Alice in Wonderland. What are you watching? You're watching a story. You identify with the story. And what happens to the character in the movie? They often end up being challenged, having to master something and come back. Feel the force, Luke. Luke manages and learns to use the force to overcome adversity and win. We watch those films. We identify with them. We're talking, we're talking about your life. And your life matters. It makes a difference. What's the secret source? Knowing what you want. Getting a support group of people around you. So as your coach, because I see every single one of you showing up here this morning. Helen, Kitty, every single one of you. I see my role as your coach. Nat, if I ask you to do something, I'm not asking you to do it. Just for the sake of it, I'm asking you to do it because I'm asking you to show up. So, very simple, three questions. Love you all, by the way. You can tell I'm really on one this morning. I'm on one for a few reasons. What have you learned this week, right? What have you learned, right? What have you achieved, right? And what are you going to do with it? And I ask all of you to either make a video. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, do it. If you don't want to make a video, at least write it down and share it. Maybe show some pictures of what you're working on. Remember when you were at school and you got a little book like this and a project book, you remember? This is your life. This is what I do every day. This is why I add color. So this week we've been looking at mastery. What we were looking at, mastery means superiority over something, working on something. Uh, when you're using mastery, you've got to stick to the path. The key is to stick to the path. I mentioned about the American werewolf in London. There's a line in the film where two of them are somewhere up north, and the bloke in the pub says when they're going to walk home, make sure you stick to the road. And they're walking away, and they realize eventually that they're not on the road. They're walking somewhere, and then they remember. We have to remind ourselves to stick to the path of what is important. We talked this week about are you a dabbler? Are you obsessive? Are you a hacker? We've all done it. Don't beat yourself up about it. There's no point. We've just all done it. Laugh at the fact that how many books? Do you think I've read all of these books? I've read quite a few of them, but I definitely haven't read all of them. I haven't read this. Nine out of ten climbers make the same mistake. I've not read that. Never even seen it. I'm thinking, how did that book come here? Um, a master is someone who sticks to the past. And we know that mastery is about practice, working out the rituals, the things you need to practice every single day. It's the little things. We want big wins. You want a big win? It's the little things that you do every single day. And it's about evidence, showing yourself evidence. That's why we have the My365 Journal, which is an amazing tool for people to record this journey that you're on. I believe this journey is the best journey you're ever going to go on right now, today. We want you to do what you say you're going to do. And lastly, with mastery, uh, some of you have heard me say this before. Attach your identity to what it is that you're working on. Uh, because if you do that, you're much more likely to feel, I don't, doesn't care about how I, it's not important about how I feel. How what's feeling like got to do with anything? It's doing what needs to get done consistently, showing up and making yourself be the best that you can possibly be. I appreciate every single one of you. I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing people's posts, I want to know what have you, what have you learned, what have you achieved, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do with it? And you don't have to watch it back. If you make a video, just get it out there. At least write it down. One day you'll look back and think, look how far I came. Thank you so much for all of you. I really appreciate all of you. Back to basics. We often have to go back to basics. It's like in a business. Sometimes you think, oh God, we've got to start again. We've got to start again. It's a pleasure, Carmen. 
I can't wait to tomorrow to see 30 my 365ers in Hayward C for the first ever. Hey, Jolene, uh, the first ever my 365 Mindset Academy. Two days of people spending with me. It's going to be awesome. We will be doing more of these in the future, I promise you. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, every single one of you. Anyone want to just say anything on here? I'll, I'm gladly just post it up as a long broadcast this morning. I'll see you, Martin, on the weekend. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing you, Desi. Gemma, get it done. You know what you need to get done. Just get it done. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just get it done because it's going into the next masterclass. Be careful what you wish for because dreams do come true, but they come through through action. So let's enjoy. Let's, let's smile. Think about what you can do straight away. I hope you've had a great week on mastery. Next week, we are going to be talking about how you can become, how you can spartan up. This is Joe DeSano. I did a podcast with him. We're going to be talking about how to be a Spartan in your own life. What does that mean? A warrior, not a warrior, a warrior. Thank you so much. Linda, great to see you. Uh, thank you, Mandy. Please share this. Let's get this information out. Let's change the world. Just be an example to people, you know. Be someone you can hold your head up high. Smiling is infectious. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Always great to see you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Have a great day. Um, and I'm going to, I love you all. There you go. That's my message to all of you. Ah, before we go, though, goodbye to you guys on Instagram. You see, we've got to get into the habit of doing this. Um, end video. Don't go anywhere, you lot. Stay there. Stay put. Let's do another quick summary. Here we go. Ready? So it is day five on uh, Mastery. He's had a good week. I don't know about you. There's my message to everyone. I love you all. Um, this week is probably one of the most important subjects that we have covered uh, when it comes to mastery. Become a master in your own life and recognize that your life isn't a Hollywood movie, right? It takes more than a couple of hours. It's a lifetime. And in that lifetime, you'll see this incredible journey, the hero's journey that you're on. It doesn't matter where you are in the journey because you're either in life, you're either in a crisis, coming out of one or moving in one. That's life. What matters is, is how you deal with this journey and how you make the most of yourself. And for me, it's all about mastery. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you for being here and saying, you know what, I want more, but could you get more? Of course, it's recognizing what is important. Mastery for me is doing what you say you're going to do. So let's do more of that. Join me next week. It's all going to be about how to be a Spartan in your life, a Spartan warrior. Thank you, everyone. Much love to all. There you go. That's going out on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, share this journey. You know what, uh, uh, Philippa, when you feel like you have to get back on track, it's fine. Everyone feels like that from time to time. There's nothing wrong. Everyone loses their way. That's why we need a coach. And that's why you need uh, people um, around you who will support you. When I started this years ago, not years ago, a couple of years ago, I said that this was worth a lot. And I want you to think about what is this worth to you? This time, what is it worth? If you treated this time like it was priceless or you treated it like you were making an investment of a million pounds into what I'm doing with you here now, you would put so much more into it. Sometimes when things are free, people don't value it as much as they could. But I thank every single one of you for being here. Have an amazing uh, weekend uh, and share what you're doing. And we'll see you on Monday. All the best.